Okay, so going with something you said earlier that I, that it's just sticking in my head, which I yeah. found very interesting. Um, go, going back to Adam Smith, you know, the, the baker bakes bread out of his own self-interest. Someone else buys the bread because in their self-interest is they yep. need it. Yep. They they use money because that's the the unit of proof of value to society. I suppose you could. No, use. no, it's it's simply the medium of exchange. So when we tried barter, it's just too inconvenient. Money was created to, to allow for convenience. It's sure, but the, like, like the, what I mean is the underlying principle includes barter as well. You, you have something that, yeah. that you worked to produce. The end, all and we do is barter. Yeah. Yeah, Money yeah. is a way to facilitate barter yeah. effectively. But it's, it, it's, not, it's not something that has less value than what you're exchanging. It's the, it's the, the value of the exchange as you both perceive it. Yes, but the only value money has is from the, your ability to exchange. Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah, and it's the same barter. You know, if, yes. if I had a million loads of bread, my, sure. my loads of bread wouldn't have much no. value. You know, no. so no. It, it's it, but you know, so underlying it. But what I'm saying is, I you know, I'm showing that I'm not just taking from you, and that's what like, like you say, it's a, it's an equal exchange. It's an exchange both agree on. Well, the beauty is it's not equal. Well, I'm not saying you're both profit. winning. No, yeah. no, you're both winning. So the baker makes a profit. Yeah. And the person who bought the bread gets something more important than the money he had. Yeah. He gets bread. Yeah. He wouldn't have given up the two dollars. Yeah. Maybe, okay. Equal is the wrong way. So they're both yeah. better off, uh, which is yeah. the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's yeah. it's but it's serving both of their interests, yeah. and it's doing it fairly in yeah. a way that they've both agreed to and cooperated with. And I've never I've never heard anyone describe that as a moral thing. But and I'm I'm thinking about it. Maybe it's because I haven't spent a lot of time you know ruminating on it. Yeah. But. Like, I don't see how you could say it was anything other than a moral good for two people to agree to do something and then both do it, both be satisfied, walk away with, you know, both happier. For unless it. there's some kind of deception or unless there's some real irrationality, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. irrationality or some sickness involved. <coughs> you know, I'm, I'm not sure that every time we exchange, let's say I'm buying my gram of cocaine and I'm going to get high on the cocaine, <laughs> I would argue that, the, that me getting high on cocaine is immoral. Not because of society, but because it's hurting me. Sure. Because long term, so the exchange is kind of. But putting aside that, if if both parties are rational, absolutely, it's a, it, that is what that's the essence of morality. The essence of morality is bettering oneself, hmm. and and the the way in which we do that in a social setting. One of the ways in which we do it in a social setting is by trading with one another. Trade is a way in which we better ourselves. Now, to trade, you have to first produce. Yeah. But, but once you produce, you, you, the beauty of a division of labor society, as Adam Smith describes it, is our ability to then trade to keep improving our world. And um, so, so yes, it's, a, it's an inherently, trade is an inherently moral activity. Right? That's interesting. It's an inherently moral activity because it's about bettering mm. your self-interest. See, and you see Adam Smith views it as, mm. as not so moral, but in the end, it makes everybody better off, so it's okay. Yeah, I, th I think he views it as amoral, yes. doesn't he? Well, it's not yes. good or bad, it's yes. just... And the motivation <clears throat> is suspect. Mm. Anytime self-interest steps in, it's at the, the very least it's suspect. Yeah, now that, that's something else, because what, what, I mean, like, what, what I was getting at is basically you can see why capitalism is so productive if you just look at the interest. You yes. Know? It's, you know, someone else's interest aligned with someone else's interest, they mesh together, they both benefit, yep. They, it's, it's, you know, and, and suddenly, and, and they've both got the desire to do that again, yes. you know, or, or with other people. It's like, and, and the communists just can't understand why capitalism is so productive. It's like, well, it's obvious. If two people are getting their interests served without any loser in the equation. Absolutely. Of course that's going to be productive. And, and, and if I work harder, or if I work smarter, mm. I'm going to make more money. Yeah. Isn't that a motivation to work harder and to work smarter? Yeah. So.